Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to solve our differential equation using reducible to variable separable method by substitution. Okay, so let's get started. Solve dy by dx equals to square root of y minus x. So let y minus x equals to t square. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Okay. We will get dy by dx equals to, sorry, dy by dx minus dx by dx equals to 2t into dt by dx. So, this becomes dy by dx minus 1 equals to 2t into dt by dx. Now, take this minus 1 to right hand side. We will get dy by dx equals to 1 plus 2t into dt by dx. Okay. Now, replace y minus x by t square. And dy by dx by 1 plus 2t into dt by dx. So, let, it, let us consider the differential equation, the given differential equation by 1. So, 1 becomes 1 plus 2t into dt by dx equals to square root of t square. Since we know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2, you're having square root of t square, right? So you could write it as t square whole power 1 by 2. Since square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2. And also we have a power m whole power m equals to a power m into n. So this becomes t power 2 into 1 by 2 which is equal to t power 2 by 2 which is equal to t power 1 equals to t, right? So, square root of t square is t. So, this becomes 1 plus 2t into dt by dx equals to t. Fine. Now, take this one to right hand side you will get 2t into dt by dx equals to t minus 1. Okay. So, you could write it as 2t by t minus 1 into dt equals to dx. Simply taking dx to right hand side and t minus 1 to left hand side. Okay. So, here the variables are separable. Now, integrating on both sides. We get in the LHS part you are having integrand 2t by t minus 1, right? So in the denominator you are having t minus 1, but in the numerator you are having 2t. So you have to change this numerator in terms of t minus 1. So, what we are going to do is, we'll simply add and subtract 2 to this numerator. Okay. You could write the numerator as 2t minus 2 plus 2 denominator as it is. So, from the first two terms, we can take 2 common. We'll get 2 into t minus 1. And the third term as it is. Right? So, we have changed the numerator in terms of t minus 1. Right? So, now we will replace 2t by t minus 1 by 2 into t minus 1 plus 2 by t minus 1 in the integrand of LHS. Okay? Since 2t by t minus 1 equals 2. So, this becomes integral of 2 into t minus 1 plus 2 by t minus 1 into dt equals to integral dx. You can write it as integral 
2 into t minus 1 by t minus 1 plus 2 by t minus 1 into dt equals to integral dx. Now cancel t minus 1, t minus 1. Again, this becomes Okay. So you would write it as integral 2 into dt plus integral 2 by t minus 1 into dt equals to integral dx. Now take the constants outside the integral, you will get 2 into integral dt plus 2 into integral 1 by t minus 1 into dt equals to integral dx. Okay, since we know that integral dx equals to x plus c and integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. Let f of t equals to t minus 1. Then f dash of t will be equals to 1. Derivative of t with respect to t is 1 minus derivative of constant is 0. So this is equals to 1. So you have a integral 1 by t minus 1 into dt, right? So you could write it as f dash of t by f of t into dt which is equals to log mod f of t from the formula. Okay. So you could write it as log mod you are having f of t equals to t minus 1. Okay. So this becomes 2 into integral dt is t. Plus, since integral 1 by t minus 1 into dt equals to log mod, so I'll get 2 into log mod t minus 1 equals to integral dx is x plus integral constant c. Okay, since we have t square equals to y minus x, since t square equals to y minus x, then t equals to square root of y minus x. Now put t equals to square root of y minus x in the place of t. Or substitute t equals to square root of y minus x. Then you will get t. Then you will get 2 into square root of y minus x plus 2 log more square root of y minus x minus 1 equals to x plus c. So this completes the problem. This is a required solution for the given differential equation. So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.